All right, welcome. Thanks for joining us today. We're uh, going to tell you a little bit about lobster hoop netting. And this, these right here are hoop nets. This is what it looks like. There's a couple different styles. So this style is raised up. You can see a little bit. I find it a little bit better. Lobsters get in here. But it's a little bit harder for them to escape when you're pulling them up. But there's also some that lay flat on the ground. Uh, so we've got the hoop net. We've got our bait cages, a couple different styles here. You can see these metal cages here, or this is a, what's called a seal proof one made of PVC, which holds the ends just open up. You can put your bait in there, put the cap back on, you're good to go. So you've got your bait, you've got your net, you wanna have your buoy. This is what's gonna be floating on top. I always like to put a little reflective tape on there at night. That way, uh, when you've got your flashlight, you can see it really well. You need to put on your Go ID, which is on your, your lobster card here. So you need to attach that to your buoy. Then I usually just put name and then my phone number. But sometimes these will lift off the ground, they may float away and, um, you know, if someone else were to find it, then they could uh, contact you and, and you could get your net. So we also have our light. I like these ones, as they light up, it'll flash or be a solid light. And these, I just drill a hole right in the top. And then you can put these in like so, and just sit there. And in order to keep it upright, what I do is I drill a hole and put some weight right here. So this is just a screw, big bolt, lag bolt, put it in the bottom, it keeps it upright. That way your light stays up top, doesn't fall over into the water. You can see it really well. And then um, whatever length rope you want to use, depending on where you're going to be fishing at. Uh, what I've done here is just attach extra onto this piece here where you can wrap it up. That way you've got multiple lengths. I think I've got 75 feet of rope here. That way if I'm fishing in shallow, I can wrap it up to the appropriate length or fishing out deeper, I've got that extra so I don't have to attach it. And then of course, you gotta have you know, your gauge here. So a legal lobster is three and a quarter inches and you'd measure that right between their eyes and to the back of the carapace there, um, which is right where the, the tail comes and meets the body. So it has to be at least three quarters or three inches and a quarter. Um, and then this one actually has two, you can see. So this larger one is for crabs. So sometimes you may uh, pick up some crabs as well. And so it's nice to have both lobster and crab. Crabs four inches, you measure across the body. This is your, basically what you need for hoop netting. And what you'll do is you bait them up and throw them out into the water. Uh, you've got your booty, buoy here floating on top. You let it sit for however much time you think. You know, it could be an hour, less, more. Um, and then you, you pull them up and whatever you've got in there, you may have some short lobsters, you measure, throw them back, uh, big ones, obviously you keep. And that's pretty much lobster hoop netting. It's and a then, lot of fun, huh? Yeah, and then you, you have to have a big tank for lobsters because they have to be water so you have to put fill your bait tank up and then put it, oh, lobster, the keepers in there. That's a good point. So we we just use our bait tank because you got fresh water in there and we can put the keeper lobsters to keep them alive. It's another point you want to keep your lobsters alive until you cook them up. Uh, that way they stay good. All right well thanks for joining us today. We hope you have good luck lobster fishing and hopefully these uh, tips helped you out. Yeah.